only been on the pitch for a couple of minutes. Christian Sadie closes in and Bobby closes in on the championship. Good morning, Andrew. Yeah, good morning, Tom. What a lovely sunny day for the visit of Oxford. Hello again, a very good morning and a massive welcome back to Ford Everett Rover. It's so great to have your company. How great is it to have so many people's company? 16,000 subscribers nearly, Tom. We're getting there. 50 aren't we? short. 50 short. At 16, the last 000. count, 50 short. Oh, come on, folks. Subscribe. I'm also feeling you're going to probably come up with a humble request for a thousand likes again. I can well, feel that. Well, we're getting on. there, aren't we? Every week now it's a thousand plus likes. So, what was it last week? It wasn't quite a thousand last week oh was it not mm, no it wasn't i know you're not gonna be very happy no come on no. folks like it we've got a massive month of march six games covered all the unmissable action is here with us we cannot wait to bring it to you and i cannot wait to do it all by your side either i have to be honest i'm looking forward to this tom the next six games are going to be it's a big fantastic. month i think today and next week define our season tom i've said that once or twice on you this have, channel. yeah you've used that one cup. that's out the andrew playbook yes yeah it'd be great to have a weekend that's great with kicking footballs yes twinned with a midweek that was great without any yes yeah we are off to a sold out fratton park this afternoon full knowledge that it could be quite a comfortable cushion come five o'clock this afternoon just the three league wins in the calendar year of 2024 for oxford united of the last 10 meetings between the two sides of fratton park we've only lost two of them oh Sorry, you don't like positive stats pre-game, do you? No, no, I, no. Like, I like to be on the humble side. On the humble Tom. side. I think there'll be four goals, but I've got a horrible feeling two will be shared either way. Or we win it 2-1. 4-0 today. What, mate? Oh, mate. Happy birthday. Well, birthday. Thank you. How are we? Look, he's back. He's back. He's Always back. back. Now, I have a rather reluctant guest of mine. <laughs> Come on. I think it's going to be 4 0 written all over. Oh, we got there. Give us one of those. You're extremely comfortable and I'm not. Take one step this way as well, mate. How are we today? Good. What do we think the score's going to be? 4-0 win all over it. 3-1 Portsmouth. Nice, what about you? 4-0 um, win all over it. See, why didn't you say that? <laughs> Izzy's here, everyone. Star of the show. I've never seen us win away. Hopefully Blackpool will break Hang the on, curse. Hang on, sorry. You've never seen us win away? I've never seen us win away. So when we sing, I've seen Pompey win at Fran, <laughs> I've seen Pompey win at... Do you have to be quiet for the away bit? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's a disaster. Let's change that immediately. Hopefully, maybe we can break the curse at Blackpool next week. I think week. we can. Are you off to Blackpool? Oh, I'm loving it, oh, yeah. Give us one of those, see you in Blackpool. Score today. Callum Lang to score, and Bishop score 2-1 Pompey. No Tyler Goodrum is the biggest news. That's because I'm stood right next to him. That's because I'm here. Yeah. That'd be weird if I was, yeah. Come on, little man. How are you? Look over there, Sam. There we go. 3-0. 3-1 Pompey. 4-0 written all over it, I'm going for. 3-2 Pompey. Oh, a 3-2. High scorer. Tyler Lane 2 and Callum Lang 1. I want to go 2-0. Two 2-0 two Pompey. I said 2-0 all along. I expect to win today. I think if we play our own game, we will. It's going to be tough whatever we line up with. You know, I think that's the, the bottom line. Whoever we play, it's going to be a very difficult game. It's yours to lose, I think. It's your league to lose too. You can't say you're going to lose because that would be letting yourself down. <laughs> but I don't think we're going to win. <laughs> See you a lot on the, uh, Thank on you the very podcast much. and everything. So, yeah. Better in the flesh? Yeah, he's just about, mate. Thank just you very about. Much. Yes, Appreciate that. in the sun. Thank you. And I've thought about it a lot this week. We're going to win the league and we're going to finish on 94 points. I don't know how we're going to get there. I don't know which games they're coming from. But that sounds like a, game, a familiar that's, that's song we'll that does. There. I don't think it would fit the lyrics though. Is it your birthday as well? No, you would have the hat on, wouldn't you? As we can see by the hat, yeah. a very happy birthday. I think it's going to be 4 0 all over it. Hooray! 2 0. 3 1. 3 2. 3 0 Pompey. If anyone forgets the lyrics, this is where you need to come. 1 0. 2 1 Pompey. Did you get this for the birthday? You got it for your birthday? Great present, guys. Are you mum and dad? Great present, guys. 3-1 Pompey. I'm going 3-2, last minute winner at the Fratton end. I think we'll go one new up. I think it'll go one all, MPH. Massive. And I think Paddy Lane with a winner. How massive is Paddy Lane? I don't think there's any way of putting it other than it is absolutely massive. He's unreal. Your aftershave's unreal as well. <laughs> Cheers, mate. I'll tell you one thing I will add. I watch you a bit of nappers with you most weeks. Yeah. Together you work very well. I'll put that bit in. Yeah, go, go on, on, mate. Yeah, Give him a wave. Put in the aftershave bit as well. <laughs> do, you want me to, do you want a new... Hey, fella, as well instead. 
Three one. Four nil. Two nil. We we hate Oxford, so We hate Oxford. Yeah. We hate Oxford. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good morning. How are you? Oh, it's twenty five past two. I mean, but at the blues. I think two one Pompey. Three one Pompey. Optimistic. Yeah. We're a great team. It's the best thing we've had in years. Two nil. Four nil we're in all over it. Two one. <laughs> you should think it's gonna be Pompey. I think gonna it's gonna win. be Pompey as well. Yeah. I'll be happy with a one nil, I will. Four nil written all over it. If you we want can. another pun, we're now marching towards the championship. Like it. Yeah, you can keep that. That bit will be in the yeah, edit. Keep that yeah. one. Do one! 2-0 to us. 4-0 all over it. Out of blues. 3-1. 2-1 either team. 3-1 today. 3-1 as well. 2-1 Pompey. 4-0 written all over it. Make sure you like and subscribe. Yay! We will win 3-1 or we will draw 2-2. Two, two. I'm going with the 3-1. Both teams to score. Callum Lang to score any time. 9-1. Out of blues! Love you. Come on. <laughs> Football, had an edge. Yeah, it's got an edge to it. Obviously, a really good game for them. Started really well, but I always thought Oxford had something on the break. They got quick players on the break. Something in the midfield's not quite working because they keep picking the ball up and turning and then going straight at goal. I think Pert Harris has been good going forward. I think when he gets the ball and he turns, I don't think we've got a player who can do that in midfield. But defensively, you can see he's been caught out a little bit because we, we are, maybe it's a positional thing, but in the middle, there is a lot of space, like too much space. There's enough in it for Pompey to win it second half. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and we've got the players to do it. We've got the mentality. And second half, we didn't really come out if we come out and start like we started the first half we'll give them problems going forward we've created a fair few chances as well we look dangerous but they're also quite capable of giving us problems if we step off fully fully expect us to get a winner in this Got be careful love you tom love you too Take a minute to get your breath back, everyone, by the way, because oh, my heart's still freaking booming. I think we'll all feel this. When you bleed blue that much and the game's got such a fight, such a bite, such an energy to it, those 10 minutes at the end where all four corners of Fratton Park got this fantastic group of players over the line with pure, unadulterated blue army and play up Pompey, that will stay with me for a long, long time. Best fans in the world. That was fabulous. I absolutely loved it. I'm sure you did as well. We're, we're, we're good at making a noise. Think Stockport, think AC Milan. It felt like a Premier League uh, it, game, it, didn't it? it right it, at the end. It, 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 it had a Premier it League felt, game it, about it. It felt like that kind of momentum, Tom. Yep. I think we, we got them over the line because that 
the atmosphere was absolutely bouncing. Another it game. felt like everyone believes, it Dan. Was, it was another game where, uh, well, a year or two ago, you know, I said to you a few moments ago, a year or two ago, you know, it's another game we drop points in. Yep. Teams that go up, teams that achieve in this game, often, you know, find ways when it's when it's not quite going for you. And it wasn't quite going quite well, you know, it wasn't going particularly well at all for us at times mm. today. But struggling to see, you know, how that's a seven yellow card game, Bentona. Because he but, lost but, control but very we'll, early on, that's we'll, why. We'll shelve the conversation with referees because you know how I feel about that, Tom. The same referee who went down injured within 60 minutes of the Cheltenham game, nil nil, which completely spoiled that one as well. But we'll gloss over that, <laughs> won't we, Ben? No one remembers that. Or his horrendous performance when Sheffield Wednesday came to Fratton Park last season. <laughs> EFL, stop giving Ben Tone a big games. He can't deal with it. Anyway, you that's that over. <laughs> yep, that's King. That could go in. It's frustrating because if that game was to go the other way, it would be down to the ref. Just you said to me just now, the only person who made that game as far as it was was the referee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was the only one raising the temperature, and I feel there was a period in the first half, Tom, just before half time, where we just needed to calm down and cool our heads in the decisive moments. I, th I think towards half time, we'd have managed that game a lot better. Oh, he's a happy boy tonight, everybody. <laughs> one happy lino. Christian Sadie's got his own postcode, and I think that's one of the best ways to describe him a game changer a game definer, a man who oozes class, quality and composure as we saw on the ball today, Dan. Games are won in moments and I That was the moment. In terms of the moment where he scores, I think he's possibly about the only player on the pitch who could have scored from that position, Tom. He used his strength well to ride the challenge and you have to bear in mind the man is a unit. He's a very mobile unit and that's his great asset. And once he was in, I never really had much doubt. Got the winning goal, saved us from, from going to all. Don't forget the goal line clearance, yeah, massively. It off the line. Launches man, I think, into the car park. <laughs> was so good with the ball, and he made obviously that other chance where Yengi went on to the left side. <laughs> he had a lot of work to do from where he got the ball, and fair play to him. Great substitution. What a goal from him. He didn't do anything wrong at all, did he? For me, he starts, Tom. We needed somebody to break the play up. You know, it allowed others to come into the game who, at the time, were struggling to have an impact up front, you know? That's the fourth consecutive Fratton Park win now. Unless you are a Leighton Orient fan or player, every single team that's come to Fratton Park in 2024 has been beaten. In some cases, they've been well beaten. In many cases, three or four goals have been scored against them. Not the case today, of course. Course. But talk about Fortress Fratton, Dan. Got a thumbs up from a gentleman off camera there. He likes a bit of that. Yeah, we, we've just got 10 cup finals now. As we said at the top of the show today, you know, if, if, if we play our way and are allowed to play our way more often than not, we'll get enough points to get over the line here. Less than two points a game now probably wins us the league. And that's the privileged position this group of players have put us in. Yep. Um, and we're finding ways to win when we're not necessarily playing at our best. And I think if they're honest as a dressing room, they weren't they one brilliant today. They, yeah. they weren't at their best. Yep. And perhaps. In that case, you give credit to Oxford at that moment. You know, Worthy and strong competitors today. We got away with a couple, didn't we? At least a couple. They, they, they were never going to be anything but, though, were they? No. Nope. In spite of a couple of mistakes in distribution, which you're going to get playing out from the back, I thought Norris made a, a couple of outstanding saves. Yes. We're going up, Tom. <laughs> I saw Wardy before the game. Oh, get on camera. <laughs> it's case in point, isn't it, where Pompey's game on Pompey's oh, terms. Blues. Oh, the Blues indeed. Pompey's game on Pompey's terms, by and large, we win. Oh, which is such a nice position to be in, isn't it? Yeah, and it was just. I going to say, looking very dapper this evening as well. <laughs> I think we played probably one of our best on the back foot games. And one more shout out the know how and the shrewd substitution to make the call to bring Christian Sadie on take a bow John Messino because yeah. that's changed the game and that's won it for us ultimately even though we've got players out such a squad isn't it we are where we are mate we're seven points clear I'm going to go a little bit philosophical here but I think you'll get what I mean if you want to buy things without looking at the price tag you have to work without looking at the clock Pompey really earned that this afternoon. That was dogged, that was fought for, that was impassioned. There are now 10 games to go, and scarily, Pompey are probably five wins from the championship. I think it's about right, Tom, so we're going to... Nice little trip to Blackpool next week. Well, I tell you what, we have got pretty much a full house of four... Are we ready? <laughs> I've just turned around the corner just to let everyone know we're nearing the end. We have got a pretty much full house of 4 nil gang off to Blackpool next weekend. That is going to be quite some weekend we cannot wait to bring you along for it but until then take a breath take a deep breath because i need to we all need to thank you so much for joining us have a great week we'll see you next weekend for the trip up to blackpool keep the faith and as always play up pompey Go south, there's the